Uh, look, look, tonight is all about me waiting on you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> there go the cookies. Sorry, Mr. Lockhart, we hit a little unexpected turbulence back there. All right? Yeah, I'm fine. Trust me, there will always be enough money for me to provide for you and the baby. You don't know that. No one does. No, I do. Things happen. You could lose your job. There could be an unforeseen emergency or uncovered medical and hope, bills. I realize all this. I do. Believe me. I wasn't born with a trust fund. I'm sorry. Look, look. I all I meant was... My mom couldn't give me a bank account. So she taught me how to survive. Whenever life has thrown at me, I've always been able to make do. And I always will. Then they would never doubt that you have a good heart. And it's all yours. For the rest of our lives, if you want it. I love you, Hope. And I always will. Patrick. You know that I'm not ready for a long-term commitment, right? I haven't even divorced Bo yet. Yeah, I am. I didn't mean to pressure you. I know. I just, this little trip was supposed to relax you and help take your mind off the divorce hearing. It has, partly. It's complicated. Well, you're still going through with it, aren't you? If I was in your situation, I'd probably be doing the same thing. Threatening any man who came near my wife. Good. Then the discussion's over. You can leave. No. No, there's something you need to be clear about. Hope and I only got closer when it was obvious your marriage was over. Well, it's not over. Fine. If you and Hope are gonna get back together, I'll stay out of your way. Yeah, but you still want her. I love her. I love her enough to walk away without a fight if she wants to be with you. Because I want Hope to be happy. And I will not make an already difficult decision harder for her. You have my word on that. If Hope has made that decision. <laughs>